What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Gambit's Guide, and today we have a very special guest, and that is Rich from Wolverine Airsoft. So, first of all, welcome, Rich. Yay! Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. So, uh, for some of you who don't know, Rich is the founder, uh, owner, and also the lead engineer of Wolverine Airsoft, and today he has brought something very special from them, from the U.S., and that is the MTW. So, Rich, why don't you give us a walkthrough? Like, sure. What's this MTW about? <coughs> MTW stands for Modular Training Weapon. Uh, now, the MTW is a system that we've designed to basically integrate all of the different systems that we have released over the past few years, so our different engines and stocks and stuff like that, integrated into one complete system where you can use all the different pieces and they all tie seamlessly together, and in addition give you a bunch of additional performance and quality over the existing options on the market. Okay, so basically it's a Full built airsoft mm -hmm. gun out of the box, which already HPA Correct. upgraded. Very cool. <coughs> so that means you, it's no longer a standard AEG. It's not no. a GBBR either. It's a complete redesigned airsoft Correct. gun. Uh, okay, then would you mind walk us through about your design process and the material you chose to use on this? Sure. So the MTW, let's talk about the receiver design real quick. The receiver design is very different from, say, an AEG. It's actually designed almost identical to the real firearm. So you see if you pop the back pin, it pivots up, you have your pin and tab at the back there. Just now, like the real thing? Just like the real thing. Including the hose? <laughs> what? Everything other than the hose. Which, if you don't want, then you use the Wraith CO2 stock, and you run ah, without the hose. So, there so you you go. now you got a hose and yep. a stock. You use a different module, you can do, uh, do whatever you want. So. As far as the overall build of the gun, the lower is actually a forged lower receiver. We make these from the same forgings that you make the real firearm nice. out of. So extremely strong, extremely durable. The entire gun is high quality CNC aluminum, uh, including the barrel, rails, uppers, all that kind of stuff. And we actually machine the uppers and lowers in house. In fact, I've seen <coughs> a video of you doing pull up with them. Yep. So how much Ver do you weigh? 170. 170. Does it handle 190? Should. Very so, cool. and all high quality mil spec anodizing as well. So, finish nice. is exactly like the real firearm, not not a, a paint or something like that. We can uh, circle it for you. We can. In addition, because of some of the design changes we've been able to make to the receivers, we've been able to fix a lot of the difficulties people have had, like alignment of the HPA system to the hop up. Because ah. both the cylinder and the hop up and barrel are held in the core of the upper receiver, it's intrinsically perfectly aligned every single time. It lines up perfectly, you never have alignment issues, which improves your groupings, your uh, consistency of your shots. So in theory, it's <coughs> gonna outperform any standard AEG MPDW right. right in the market. Yeah. Very cool, so this gun has been completely overhauled mm -hmm. and completely redesigned then does that mean it doesn't compat it's not compatible with any of the aftermarket parts? No, that was actually one thing that we really wanted to get right because you know we're air softers. We like changing stuff and doing doing everyone exactly. wants, everybody wants to customize stuff, right? Yeah. So uh, we wanted a really good combination of compatibility in terms of parts. So for the hop up, for instance, uh, we do have our own proprietary hop up design. Okay but it will work with a lot of aftermarket rotary style hop-ups if nice. you want to change it out to something else. Um, the hop-up rubber is a standard hop -up, standard hop-up rubber, and the inner barrels are just standard AEG inner barrels, so work with any anything there. Uh, the other thing we wanted to do is make it compatible with the real steel parts that are higher quality Ooh. than the airsoft parts. So things like grips, uh -huh. you, it will work with real steel or gas blowback grips, um, nice. so you can use any of those. Uh, your trigger guards, again, real steel spec there. Uh, buffer tube, castle nut, sling plate, all of those are real steel specs, so you can put the real parts on there. Um, and then in addition, you have things like your takedown pins and some other small parts in the lower. So you can put real steel uh, strike industries or uh, battle arms development or nice. whatever else you want, uh, takedown pins on here for that that customization option that everybody likes. And I guess it goes without saying, your M-Lock are actually... They are too. they are uh, licensed M-Lock, uh, so uh, yeah, and, and this will actually work with, one of the f fun things we did is, this will work with any standard airsoft rail, the receiver uh, mm -hmm. will work with any, any standard airsoft rail, but you can actually, in addition, uh, use real steel rails on these as well. The uppers will take will accept a barrel nut from a, a so real So you steel no rail. longer have to worry about it, whether it's AG spec, GBB spec, or even real yep. rails. Nice, very nice. 
So Rich, I noticed that you guys make your own uh, polymer magazine and uh, there's a protruding part in the back that reminds me of the PTW style magazine as well as the Tokyo Mirror Recall Shop. Mm -hmm. So does that mean your P MTW also have a maxed off system? It does. So when, when you're using these magazines, that, uh, that lever there will indicate on a switch on the electronics and stop the gun firing when the magazine is empty. In order to start the gun firing, you remove the magazine, change it, and hit your bolt release in order to start gun firing again. So you have the realistic uh, order of operations there. Uh, but, uh, again, we're big on compatibility. We want people to have options. So if you don't want to buy new magazines or you just don't, the bolt release is not something you particularly want, uh, then you can just use standard AEG magazines. Most, most standard mid caps, high caps, low caps, whatever you want will work in these as well. You just won't have the empty mag functionality uh, working at that point. Okay, now, now that goes without saying, but I just want to double check with you. So there are no any aftermarket part recoil or uh, bolt stop magazine would be compatible? Not, this, no, not that we're aware of at this point. I, all of the others are made to different specs. Very cool. Well, Rich, thank you so much for showing us NTW in details. My pleasure. And uh, for all you guys that are watching, be sure to follow us on our social media as well as Rebel TV. We will have an in-depth review on this coming soon. And please make sure to follow Wolverine Airsoft. Thank you guys for watching. And Rich, it's been a pleasure. Come visit us Likewise. again. Likewise. Bye, guys. You can now stop squinting. Like, I know you've been squinting. Yeah, so yeah. Stop squinting. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, I just want to tell you Gambit's Guide, for some reason, uh, our videographer just never stopped filming. So even when the video is over, he likes to film this awkward moment of me talking. Oh. Uh, yeah. It, it, he does that all the time. Stop. <laughs> That's that's very rude to Asians. No. Wait, you're Asian? Am I? Technically, I am. I I, I don't see color. Oh, you're colorblind. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so that's why you didn't know this is actually black. So that is why your gun couldn't ship overseas because you think this is orange tip, but it's not. What color is it? Neon green. I don't think so. I think this is a bit over the top. This is this is getting really awkward. Yeah. <laughs>